Hello everybody, we're here with Dr. Nima Solari and we're talking about exciting new treatments for people who have neck problems. So Dr. Solari, first talk about the way these kinds of problems were dealt with in the past. Sure, traditionally when we evaluated patients and we thought that they became surgical candidates, either surgical candidates in order to address their arm symptoms or neck symptoms, they would uh, traditionally undergo a cervical fusion procedure. So it would be a fusion. Now there's a, a, a new way to do it that it may be better for some folks. What is this new procedure? The disadvantage of a cervical fusion is that it uh, limits range of motion, and a lot of patients are very concerned about that. And luckily now, uh, through studies and the approval through the FDA, we can do cervical disc replacements for one level and all the way up to two levels of surgery. So this is a surgical disc replacement. Who would be an ideal candidate for that over a fusion? Sure. Uh, if uh, patients had, have good range of motion and care about maintaining range of motion and then also reducing the chance of levels above and below becoming symptomatic in the future would be great candidates for cervical disc replacement. And talk about that a little more. What are some of the benefits that people get from this that maybe they don't get from fusion? Absolutely. You maintain range of motion and also there is uh, evidence that shows that the adjacent segments above and below would have less risk of developing symptoms in the future and the risk of needing surgery again in the future. And that's something that can happen. Some of these adjacent areas can also become problematic. Absolutely. There's always a limited risk of the adjacent segment becoming symptomatic and requiring surgery in the future. What about insurance? Most insurances now approve uh, because of the FDA approval, approve these procedures. That's great. Great information, Dr. Solari. Thanks for being here. Thank you. We'll see you next time.